Okay, so we have a set of values. I'm going to paste them into this Excel spreadsheet and to show you how to solve this problem semi-manually. I'm then going to choose uh, cutoff values. In this case, I've chosen um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cutoff values uh, ranging from high and uh, from low to high uh, and then I've looked at how many values uh, fall below and above uh, the cutoff value that I've chosen and I've listed these numbers um, alongside. So using those same numbers I have um, worked out the percentages in other words, the percentage true positive rate and the percentage true negative rate for each of the of the categories. And the next thing I've done is worked out the false positive rate and uh, the true positive rate for each of those uh, cutoff values. So remember that the men are the true positives. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot this data on the curve and you see we've generated a curve with the one minus specificity on the x-axis the false positive rate and the sensitivity or the true positive rate on the y-axis as you can see the curve is identical to the one that's shown in the book now if you look at this point here uh, the question we need to ask is which part of this curve is closest uh, to this point and so if we look at, uh, if we sort of draw an imaginary line from there, you would see that this part of the curve comes closest to that point there. And that's the level or the value of the optimal uh, cutoff that we need to use. So if we go, if we look at these two points, uh, the curve has been interpolated between these two because we've chosen uh, discrete points. So if we uh, look at this point, which is the 1070, we see there's a value of 3.5 and the next value is the 2090. So on this basis we can assume that the optimal cutoff value lies between 3.4 and 3.5 and this is how you would solve uh, this problem semi-manually. You could even use graph paper uh, to do this and you would get the same answer. I've just used Excel um, uh, to speed things up a little bit.